This is Museum of the Future in Dubai, the Emirates. This building is unique because it looks like a human eye, an eye looking at the future. And because it's round, there is not a single corner in this building and no columns. Seven floors, zero corners, zero columns. This is an engineering marvel! The outside is made of 1024 panels exactly, representing the 1024 bytes in one kilobyte. And each panel is covered with Arabic quotes. It's the only building in the world covered with a language. And it's beautiful. But what is hiding inside of it? Well, let me show you. This is a living museum, which means everything inside of it is from the present and the future, not the past. Even the elevator is designed like a spaceship. It goes all the way up. You feel like you're in space, about to connect to the International Space Station. On the fifth floor, there's an actual NASA-approved design of a space station. It's an interactive walk through space that shows you our solar system, our international space station, and what it means to become a multi-planetary species. I don't think I'll ever make it to space, but this is as close as it gets to feeling like you're actually in space. On the fourth floor, there is an actual buildup of a rainforest. With over 2,400 species to remind us that in the future, we have to take care of nature and live with it. These are like 2,400 species. Some of them survived and some of them did not survive. But just walking through this is like a surreal experience. On the second floor, there is a space dedicated to the craziest ideas, from flying drones to self-driving cars and robotic dogs. They're all hiding here. Okay, I know everybody likes dogs, but check out this dog. It is a cyber dog. This is like completely mechanical. It can talk to you. It can do complicated stuff. And it's probably just as loyal as your real dog. And on the bottom floor, there is a full science park for future generations, kids, to help them appreciate physics, science, and math. This museum is not just a building, it's actually an investment fund, a university and a lab at the same time. It is where young people like me and you can finally get support. Talented people will get funding here to pursue their craziest ideas in math, science, physics, and tech. This museum will find and fund them with millions of dollars. We are just bringing back the glory of the past and making this the center of that ideation to bring up new professors, new scholars, new ideas and bright future. See, the future is not about buildings. The future is about science, technology, climate, nature. It is about supporting humans with great ideas. It is about taking care of our planet. And most importantly, it's about leaving a better world for our kids.